Did you start rapping? Twenty-one. What is your creative process like when you're making the song? Mm-hmm. My creative process, I might get in that bit and just play the beat for a little minute. I don't never really write shit though. I need to start writing. I might just come up with like a hit. I really get in that freestyle. If I'm by myself, I just do my thing. If I got lots of my brothers with me, you know what I'm saying? I might ask what they think. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. I'm still rock. I'm still rock what I want. So it really don't even matter what they think. I really be making music like for myself. And I just enjoy putting it out, you know? The independent artist or are you signed? I'm an independent artist. So what is that like? Funding your own music videos, studio time? Like does it ever get to the point where like you feel like you wanna sign or I mean, yeah, I be, I be got that path on my own shit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really feel like I got to sign why I should sign right now. I be getting paid, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I be getting paid for music. I be getting paid on other shit. What's the one message you would give to your fans? Be yourself. I mean, like, if you can't be yourself, you need to try to be like one of us, be like me or something. Yeah, that's, that's a good message. And what's like you? Real nigga. With the way things are going with social media, how do you feel like the internet has impacted the music industry? I feel, I feel like if you, if you go up on social media, your music probably go up, you know what I mean? Like, like TikToks and shit. I need to start getting on TikTok. I don't really be making TikTok though. But like, nigga shit might go viral on some shit and that's how everybody hear it. Nigga, my shit might not even be fine. Might be just one part of the song. Nigga, go up on this shit. How do you network with other artists? Like, do you pretty much keep your features in house with people you know, or are you always looking to like network with other up and coming artists? I mean, I be doing features and shit. Nigga be paying me though. But like, if I see a nigga like from the same place as me, like you know what I'm saying, I do a song with him. If I see a nigga, shit go up. My shit go, we both be working hard, you know what I'm saying? I do a song with I don't really be popping out like that. I need to start popping out more, but like, I really hate going to the club. Being played in the club, you know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit help you play the show for sure. That 
that shit gotta be fine. That shit gotta be catchy, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing just on play in the club, you know what I'm saying? gotta get played in the right club, in the right places. You can change anything about the music industry, what would it be? Can't do all that dick or that shit nigga be doing. I can't do all that bandwagon fan that shit. So yeah, I'll probably change that. What's the difference between support and dick riding? Support and dick riding? Supporting is your partner got them rapping and you there right there next to some nigga. Dick riding is your partner rapping, you not there, but you right there next to some niggas you don't even know. Fan out group of shit like that. Support for real hell. Dick right, you supporting some nigga that don't support you. You know what I'm saying? I can go. Yeah. Right now, yeah. what's your favorite song to perform? My favorite song to perform? I got that one song from back in the day. That shit be going crazy. That shit, uh, they mention me. I mean, oh, sound that fast. But I got some new shit that's way harder than that. I'm gonna perform. I'm probably gonna go, like, do a show or something. Before I wanna run, be sure I'm gonna see what they say about that one. But I got, like, two of my favorite songs. What would you be doing right now if you weren't doing music? Well, shit, I still be doing the same shit. Trapping, trying to get rich. I got this little store off in the open, you know what I'm saying? Shit, we go crazy. Let me sell a shoe. I'll be full like a, imagine I'm a shoe, full like a self. And one day, I'll be showing my twice that in one day, no cap. Oh, what type of music do you like? I mean, I listen to a lot of rap music. I be on some R&B shit, but I be on some R&B shit like by myself, but I got to do it by myself. Got to be in that mode, you know? So where have you performed and what is your least favorite venues and your favorite venues to perform in? Uh, <coughs> I perform at like a club, I perform at like some clubs, a lot of street clubs. Uh, I perform at like nigga birthday parties and shit like that. Yeah, my least favorite venue. I fuck with the birthday party though. Everybody just be happy and shit. But I don't know. I like probably the club. Like probably a regular club. I like performing at a strip club though. You know? Who is your dream feature? Probably Gucci Man. What's your favorite interview with a rapper? Nigga too serious or some shit. I don't even be watching that shit. You know what? You know what I do for it? When I think Birdman pulled up on Breakfast Club. That was Breakfast Club, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, what would be your dream place to travel and why? Dream place to travel? I'm going to some mountains or some shit. I don't want to go like that. Oh, God. I can do that now though. God, I think I got a passport. I'm trying to see what some shit started at. Yeah, probably Africa. So I got a girlfriend now. I don't got no girlfriend right now. I'm single. Single as a print. I'm looking for one though. So what is your type of woman? Fine, thick shit. Like, she gotta be like fine, cute woman. She gotta be smart. She gotta be smart for sure. And she probably just gotta be funny. Have some shit going on. It's a lot of talk about which side of Atlanta got the best women. Who you feel like, north side, south side, west side, or east side? North side, west side is out of the picture. West side out of the picture, automatically. South side, south side, I don't know. No, I feel like everybody on the south side look the same. Probably the east side or the north side. Yeah, east side or north side. I like neck and neck. I like Nick and Nick, for sure. If you had to choose one, what would it be? On the east side. Come on from the east side. You know what I'm saying? Can you tell if a girl is from the east side or not? Probably by the way she's red. And the way she talk. The way she talk, for sure. A girl from the east side, she don't really sound like me, but like, I can just, you know what I'm saying? Girl from the west side, she, you can just tell. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the west side girls, though. You know what I'm saying? But you can just tell they got that little extra little attitude on top of it. North side, fake bougie, south side, fake police, they don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? East side, they don't know, man. They know a little something. 
Where are you from? I'm from East Atlanta, Zone 6, Glenwood, 107. I'm from New Cancun. When people say the East Side or East Atlanta, is that the same thing to you? Yeah. I mean, that shit the same, but like, I feel like it's some shit. It's past coming to Howard, that shit. Like, go to Howard, that shit. That shit is got that Eastern side. Like, Easter, like niggas talking about, I throw your shit in front. Nigga, not even thinking about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the other shit. But yeah, I probably get, I get that shit in Glenwood, Gresham, Boulder Park. You know what I'm saying? I, I love shit like that. I grew up, I grew up on Glenwood, right up Pine Dale. Make a few shit like that. Uh, you know, I'm from the same place as everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with a gang, as you can see. I changed bit to one, bit like this. Yeah. you rather a rat or a snake? A rat or a snake? A snake? You are no fucking rat. I'm a snake. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be around a rat. A snitch. You know what I'm saying? I can't even be around a rat for real. I'm around a rat. And then, like, if you don't go from there, I'd rather be around a snake because. I don't know, like, what a snake pole to do. You know what I'm saying? Bite you, get you. I can't, and I'm not tight, nigga, go for shit like that. I'm gonna do it first. You block finders, no masky. Would you rather deal with a rat or a snake? I like a nigga that came out me anyway, but you can tolerate a snake. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fucking a rat, so that's not the question. I can dig, I can dig. A rat is a fucking snitch. A snake, a snake can be, cause snakes do type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like they go back to that dick right and shit. See a snake, they'll play their part, but they'll, they can still be a fuck nigga. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people can like that. You some niggas like that, no? You agree? You can tolerate a snake, though. I'm great, actually. Wouldn't you say that snakes could be a rat too? And if they ever get into a tight space that they'll tell on somebody. Yeah, when they, that's when they expose themselves. And when they come out who they really were. Don't all snakes turn into rats? Nah, not necessarily. Some are smarter than others and they don't get caught. Some end up getting what they wanted. Not the situation. Not fucking up what they had going on. Interesting. You know, we don't see any plenty of time. How do you feel about Maintaining relationships at this part of your life, like, do you feel like you have to <laughs> fuck with everybody for the sole purpose of your music, yeah, nah. or even on a personal level? Yeah, yeah. Nah. What the fuck? If you if you around, ain't that you know what I'm saying? You fucking with the campaign, and we fucking with you. I be like, fuck these niggas. I'm trying to make. That's my know. motto. Fuck these niggas. I don't even like talking to them. Fake friend relationship. Build, right, nigga. Build, yeah, that's what we're from. The best friend to build. That's crazy. I'm making no motherfucking alliances, nigga. Like, fake key. What the fuck? Fuck, you fuck me. I fuck with you. I fuck with you. At this point in your musical career, do you feel like you need to have managers or someone on your team? Or you feel like you could do it all yourself? I feel like everybody needs a team. But you should have a manager. I don't really care about no manager, you know what I'm saying? A team, for sure, for sure, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be having a game with me. You know what I'm saying? Men's are cool, you know, but most of the time they can be on the same shit, you can do it down, so. Show. Do you think that you can work with certain people because of certain things or business is business? No, you can't work with people because of certain things. Business is business, but it's a code, you know what I'm saying, to everything. I can't work with a nigga if you snitch. I don't give a fuck if you need to give me a million dollars. I ain't going. I don't need that shit that bad. I'm gonna look like a snitch. I can't work with an odd nigga. I can't work with nobody. I, my brother don't like Because I don't like you. Working with people from the east side or east Atlanta, do you feel like that hinders your growth? Or? You know, you know, I've been working with niggas like, not just east Atlanta, but you know what I'm saying? But them niggas don't be having no relation to no little snip and no hop shit. But yeah, I feel like if you don't go see, go to other places and see nothing else, all you gonna be stuck right there. 
You don't know nobody else, you gonna be star. What are some things that you feel like you can do better as an artist? Do better as an artist. I probably need to talk like people more. I don't really be. I don't really be trying to talk. That's it. I need to make myself more like approachable. You know Some things that you need with you in the studio when you record. When I record. I be need some drink, man. I be hot as fuck. Sometimes I just need to be parched. I be needing my weed for sure. I be smoking. We smoke a weed. I don't be pouring up drink no more. Man. I wasn't sick drunk. I don't even be sick with no more. That's about it. Do you need like people around you when you record? Like women, your friends, or you like being alone? Yeah, I don't really need. Like, I mean, my partners can be around. You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, I just go to the studio with myself anyway. I don't need like no women in that bit. I don't need nothing to like distract me or just. I, mean, I just be in that bit trying to vibe. Name your top five Atlanta artists. Atlanta artists? Me. Savage. Moody. Drew. Who else is going to play that? Like, Gucci. And my five. My five, that's all I've been listening to, for real. What's your favorite R&B song? My favorite R&B song? I said that nigga name and this should be going crazy though. Nigga like Brent Fayez or something. Brent Fayez? Brent Fayez, yeah, he be going crazy. What song by him? I don't know, I gotta like go to the album and click on the song. Like, were you always rapping individually or were you ever a part of a group? I wanna say with no group. I just be with the other niggas. I, I'm still most of the niggas they in July. I feel like we're like some other niggas. You know what I'm saying? To my nothing in the past, shit like that. Shit on the hunt. But yeah, now I just rap by myself. I'm going crazy by myself. So many young niggas. Fuck these niggas. Like I've been saying, fuck these niggas. If you had to date one celebrity, who would it be? I don't even be looking at celebrities. I don't even know who a celebrity is nowadays. I'm from Atlanta, like all those celebrities. I don't know. I'm a celebrity hope we pass around anyway. What's the funniest rap lyric that you ever heard? You said some dumb shit. Who inspired you to do music? I listen to everybody and I like that. They need me rap, let me sit like right real quick. How do you feel about your first song? Was it good? <laughs> my first song was a feature, I thought. Yeah, my first song was a feature. I ain't gonna care. I put that bitch on a song called that bitch went up. That's why I was, I'm about to keep rapping. How do you personally feel about Lyrics being used against rappers nowadays. I feel like it's lame. Okay. I don't know. I thought nigga had like nigga could say whatever they wanted to say. You know what I'm saying? Freedom of speech, shit like that. I ain't gonna count. Some nigga do get descriptive and be snitching like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's not right. I'm against it. So when you first started rapping, did you have support from your family and your friends? Hell yeah. I, I feel like I feel like I always been behind me. They pull up to a show too. Pull up my shit, you know what I'm saying? That's all they be learning for real. What's the deal with women? Do you think they only pursue you because they think you're a rapper and you have X amount of money? Me to be my honey. If they come and get some money, man, I ain't gonna get that. No, I didn't think I got some money for them. Right plan, wrong man. I gotta get annoyed anyway, you know what I'm saying? Before they just start giving me good money. She gonna get some, you know what I'm saying? If she got that right. But most of these days, these girls gonna try to play before the nigga try to play. Yeah, right, but the city girl. But nowadays, isn't that part of the rapper's image? They have to trick off on women to get, you know, more fans, essentially. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't really care about the image. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do what I want to do. I'll be tricking off on a bitch. Because they niggas ain't never just had hope. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't never had none before they start rapping. So what would you say your image is right now? Cool ass, young, 
up to date with music that's currently dropping right now or do you just listen to your own music? I don't even care. I be, I be listening to the fuck out of my shit. I mean, if I see a nigga post it or some shit, you know what I'm saying? If I fuck with it, I, I click on it. So like, I don't just be like, oh shit, this nigga can drop. You know what I'm saying? I be, I be into my own. Two in my own shit. For that. I see shit on Twitter or something, I might click link. Instagram, that's about it. But doesn't that get tiring of listening to yourself or no? Yeah, nah. I got a lot of music though. I got a lot of songs. So I don't never really get tired of me and my shit. So when are you dropping next and what are you dropping? I'll probably drop a video every week. So I'll be trying to drop a video like every other week, every week, type shit. I'll probably drop another tape, shit like that. Go for now. Do you already have a name for the tape? What is your favorite project that you dropped so far and why? My favorite project that I dropped? Probably y'all the same, I think. Yeah, probably y'all the same. Cause they're, they're like me, you know what I'm saying? Like the current me. All the other shit cool and shit like that, but I don't even get, I don't feel like I sound like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still sound the same, but you know what I'm saying? It's just old, just the same nigga, but. Yeah, same. I like the cover art. I like the song choice, you know what I'm saying? And why did you choose that name for it? Because I know y'all. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I don't know. It's just a little inside shit with my gang, you know what I'm saying? My brother don't got going on. What is your experience with performing live? Like, how does that feel? Performing live? Mm-hmm. I don't know, I mean, when I first started, I probably was like, you know what I'm saying, everybody was like, like butterfly or something. But like, no, that shit ain't nothing now. That shit be cool to hell. So how do you market your music? Like, what works for you? I really just drop it. I promote it, you know what I'm saying? I might go to the club, release it, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. How do you deal with criticism with your music? I probably be careful with nobody, you know what I'm saying? I don't be letting that get to me. I, if somebody said something bad for sure, I just go from that. Have you ever felt like you wanted to walk away from music and do something else? Oh, I have no. Uh, hell no. Nah. Because music, I don't care. I want to do music. Everybody ain't getting used to get a child music, but I always just had like a few backup plans anyway. And I can still do them backup plans while the music shit's still going. You know what I'm saying? What is your daily routine? Wake up. Wake up, grab that fire, you know what I'm saying? Get fresh. Get fresh, get some money. Then morning I did it, and then I did the interview, and now I'm gonna go to a video shoot. You know what I'm saying? I have a very busy lifestyle. It's only 2 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? How do you make sure you stay creative to find new ideas for your music? I might go out and see some shit. I might go out of town. Well, I might just start for a minute because I got some on music for I can just, I got time to just start for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Come back to my subject, think about some new shit. So how many unreleased songs do you think you're sitting on right now? 10 to leave behind. No, I'm to leave behind. I'm just leave behind shit and print it and shit. How do you engage with your fans? I engage. Shit. I ain't gonna count though. People be having fans. People like Hollywood and say, I actually sit down and like joke out to everybody. Or we got um, like pop up kid shit with everybody. You know what I mean? I'm a regular nigga, boy. You know what I'm saying? You gotta treat people how you wanna be treated. What's the craziest thing a fan has ever done to you? The craziest thing a fan has ever done. I got like two, three little crazy little fans on God. He up a nigga for me on God. Man, the nigga like, he put some money in my bill, man. Like to get out of jail on time. 
don't know why the fuck you did that. I mean, I was already bonded out. You know, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. I was already bonded out. You know what I mean? And he said, huh? I put a guy this one, bro. He said, it was my part. That nigga's been like 250. <laughs> Oh, that hard as hell, though. I fucked that nigga. Oh, God, I did, I did like two songs with that nigga. I don't even try 250 for a feature. Oh, God. I did like two songs with that nigga. Just fucking with me. What is something funny that has happened to you recently? My life not really funny. I don't really fuck around. I'm joking. I have a slogan. What was your slogan be? What's your favorite wing spot in Atlanta? Your wing spot on Glenway. This shit called New America. Yeah, no, 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 no